Hey guys, Brian Bukash here, core design engineer for Brunswick Bowling, and welcome back to the Radical Rundown. Phil Cardinelli has asked me to step in because Mo can't be here to talk about his own core designs. And thankfully, I was able to talk to him about these new core designs before he passed. So I'm going to do my best to tell you about the new technology that he was working on in his latest designs. So let's start by talking about the Radical Trailblazer. This Trailblazer is all new from the ground up, starting with this brand new core shape that has a RG of 2484, an intermediate diff of 020, and a total differential of 053. Those core numbers undrilled are pretty reminiscent of the Zing and the Katana series, and if you remember that those were some of the sharpest balls in the Radical lineup. Here now in this new hybrid cover, the Motion Magic cover, this ball is going to be strong on the back of the lane, but not super flippy. It's going to be one of the strongest skid flip balls that Radical's made, but it's going to be mostly at the back of the lane. What's really interesting and important about this core is a brand new process that we have here at the Brunswick plant that allows this Radical core to be a completely different shape than we've ever seen. You'll notice that uh, reminiscent of the previous Radical cores, this core is divided into three components. It's got the mid band, the middle core body here. It's got this upper cap and it's got this lower cap. And the lower cap on this new Trailblazer is something completely new and different. But we'll get to that in one second. So first let's talk about the elliptical shape of this core body. You'll notice that the main body here in the middle has this elliptical shape when you look at it from the top down. Different on this core body is that it's got an upper cap that helps with the differential because the fingers, when you drill a pinup layout, are going to miss this cap and they're going to drill into the core body itself, meaning that the differential is maintained even after drilling because the core isn't removed by the finger holes after drilling. The thumb hole is going to go into the nose of this core body. This nose is actually making the core body less asymmetrical. So in a pinup layout, when you want a strong back end motion, you want more intermediate differential. That's achieved by drilling directly into the nose of this core and removing this nose material, thus making from the top down this core more elliptical in shape, giving you more intermediate differential. Now, if you want a pin under layout, the fingers and thumb are going to be in a different location. In a pin under layout, the fingers are on top in a sense, meaning that the pin is under the bridge, and the thumb is going to be in the core body, not in the nose. So relative to the pin-up layout, you're going to get a significantly less total differential in the ball, resulting in a smoother motion overall. And because the thumb is going to be off outside of the nose right here, you're going to have less intermediate differential, meaning that you're going to have a smoother breakpoint shape. Every Radical Bowling Box comes with the drilling instructions. If you check them out, you'll notice that there are five different layout options. The first one is Max Flip. That's going to maximize your differential by putting the fingers near the core body but not really intersecting it and putting the thumb right through the mass bias to make this ball more elliptical. That's going to give you the highest amount of total differential and the highest amount of intermediate differential resulting in the maximum back end motion. You also have the most versatile layout, which is another pin out layout that's going to have slightly less ball reaction for a wider variety of conditions. With this core, the pin under layout puts the pin under the bridge with the fingers over here meaning that the differential is maintained because no material is removed from this knob. However, because the mass bias is way out by the VAL in this layout, the thumb goes into the core body, not the knob, meaning you're going to have lower differential overall, and you're going to have less intermediate differential in this layout than you did in either of the pinup layouts. This is going to be a strong mid lane motion with a continuous but not strong back end motion. And of course, if you need less hook overall than the pin under layout, you can always pick the short pin layout, known as the small hook layout on the sheet, and that's going to allow you to take advantage of this new core cover combination and minimize the amount of total boards that you'll cover with that layout. The most unique feature of this new Trailblazer core is the fact that it has an elliptical band at the bottom of the core. We called it a boat or a torpedo in nicknaming, and it's connected to the main core body by this neck. This is a very unique core feature for the Radical brand, and it's brand new. Basically, what it allows us to do is put any shape or size boat on the bottom of these cores. This is the first one that you've seen. What this allows us to do is give us a wide range of options for any shape and size that this boat or band is allowed to be. And what this does for you as the bowler is it maximizes the downlane continuation by centering the mass under the core body and away from the center of mass of the whole core. That's all the information I have on this brand new core cover combo for the Radical Trailblazer. In the meantime, make sure you give us a like and subscribe, Radical Bowling on Facebook and YouTube, Instagram, wherever you get your social media. I'm Brian Buckosh with Brunswick Bowling, and this was the Radical Rundown.